Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to the library today. A lot of you have asked how I became a school librarian. So I know it's different in every state. So I'm going to tell you what I did here in Kentucky and I'm going to give you the short version and the long version. So the short version, if you just want to watch this part is basically I have a master's degree uh, to teach English. So I taught high school English for years first. And then I went back to college and got a certificate, not a whole other degree or anything like that, just a certificate in what was called um, like school library media. I think that's just what it was called, school library media. <laughs> so it wasn't library science or anything. And it wasn't a whole degree. It was just 24 hours. So that's still quite a few hours, obviously, but it was 24 hours of graduate level classwork in library type classes. And then I was able to get that certificate added on to my original teaching certificate. And then I became a school librarian. Now, if you want the much longer version, um, I started out with a bachelor's degree in English teaching, English education from Eastern Kentucky University, EKU, which is actually in central Kentucky, which is really strange. <laughs> uh, it's in Richmond, which is really close to Lexington. If you've ever heard of Lexington, Kentucky, all the horse country and all that. Then I went to UK, which many of you have probably heard of because you've heard of UK basketball, which is in Lexington to get my master's degree. And I did that straight out of graduating from EKU because I didn't want to have to try to work and get my master's degree at the same time. So I just did them back to back and it only took me a year plus a summer to do my, um, so it was like two summers, I guess, total, something like that. <laughs> anyway, it didn't take too long to do my master's. A lot of times master's take two years, but, um, I took a lot of hours <laughs> and I was basically doing it full time. I was literally a full time student and I just literally got my master's degree also in English education. Most people get something different. You know, if they're, if they already have a bachelor's in English education, then they get their master's in something else. But all I wanted to do was be an English teacher and apparently I just was like nope I just want to get a master's and be done and that's what I'm getting it in <laughs> so I didn't do anything extra um, which I could have done like some library classes at that point so that is something you could do you know if you're looking into um, becoming a librarian that you could get your bachelor's in like English teaching or some other teaching like the librarian here before me was a science teacher so you don't have to be an English teacher I feel like it does help me being an English teacher but <laughs> uh, so you could get your bachelor's in something like that uh, that you because you have to have a teaching certificate that's what it all boils down, boils down to you can't be a high school librarian or a librarian in a school period without also being certified um, to teach so now if you just want to be a public librarian I know that you can just get like a library science degree but yeah to be a high school to be a librarian in a school you not only have to have an education degree but then you also have to either have a library certificate or a library degree or something on top of that so anyway I got my master's degree from EK or from UK and then I became an English teacher and I taught English for like eight years the first school I went to um, I was only there for a year I wasn't a huge fan of it it was in Lexington then I moved back home which was a couple hours away to a really small area um, and I taught there for at least seven years I can't honestly remember <laughs> then I became a librarian there for just a year at my old school I was the elementary and high school librarian because we were such a small school district that they consolidated into just one librarian and it was honestly impossible to do that job no one could be both it could be a good librarian at, at both schools it's just it, there wasn't time in the day so I just I didn't like the pressures of it I didn't enjoy it and honestly most of the time I didn't get to do library stuff anyway they had me teaching other classes and doing other things so I found my dream job which is to be a high school librarian here at Scott County High School in Georgetown Kentucky and um Oh, I guess I should tell you more about the teaching part. Yeah, so while I was teaching English at my old school, that's when I decided to go back and get my library certificate. The librarian at my old school convinced me. She's like, oh, it's so easy. The classes are all online. And I went to Marshall University, which had all online classes. It's in Huntington, West Virginia. So it was really close to where I lived. And I just took the classes online. Um, they were graduate level courses. So I had to submit like all my GRE scores, I think, and like all that sort of stuff again, which I'd already taken that when I got my master's. And I had to apply, you know, just all the usual stuff. It was a lot of hoops to jump through. I'm not going to lie. A lot of paperwork to get all these certificates and degrees. <laughs> um, and when I found out it was 24 credit hours to get the certificate, the problem was if I had 30 hours, I would have what's called a rank one. And a rank one is where you have 30 hours above a master's degree. And you get paid a whole lot more as a teacher when you have that. So I really wanted to make sure to have a rank one, but I still needed six more hours. So I just took two random classes at Moorhead University. So that's like, so I've been to like four colleges now. It's ridiculous, <laughs> which is a pretty small university about an hour from where I lived. And I did those online and they weren't related to anything. One was a poetry class and one was a 
literary theory, like literary criticism class, just to take them. One was the easiest class, the poetry class was one of the easiest class I've ever had in my life and really fun. And then the literary criticism one was the hardest class I ever had in my life, but I'm glad I took it because now I can kind of teach uh, some of my students that when I teach English 101. But because I took all these extra classes, um, those two extra classes, I had 30 hours, which means I had a rank one, and it means that I had enough English classes to have to be able to teach at the college level because to teach like college English or college whatever, you have to have 18 hours of graduate credit in that subject or in that field. So I had 18 credit graduate credit hours now in English. So uh, for my master's degree and then those six other random hours that I took to finish the rank one. So I was able to teach English 101 at my old school. I taught it here last year at this school and I'm hopefully teaching it next year as long as enough students sign up. I love teaching English 101, it's so much fun. So the fact that I get to be a librarian and still teach English and teach my favorite class and it's like a small little college setting and I love it so much. So anyway, um, so I got that certificate but the problem with my certificate <laughs> was that because I took my classes for the library certificate in the state of West Virginia, I could not get it added to my Kentucky teaching certificate right away. And I was like, well, then what do I have to do? And they said, well, you actually have to get certified to teach in the state of West Virginia first, and then we can transfer it over to Kentucky. So I had to go to West Virginia and do a background check and pay all their fees and fill out all the paperwork and actually become certified to teach in the state of West Virginia, which was just mind blowing to me that it, they wouldn't just add my library classes to the certificate here in Kentucky, but they wouldn't. So I got certified in West Virginia, then they transferred everything over and now my library certificate shows up on my Kentucky teaching license. It expires like every five years, I think something like that. So you have to pay to renew it, of course. Um, I paid also the extra fee to be able to have my uh, English certificate and library like certificate to have those renew at the same time. So now they're on the same cycle and I just renew them every five years at the same time. Or maybe it's every three years. I can't remember, honestly. The school sends us an email when our certificate's about to expire so that we remember to actually go and renew it. <laughs> but that's my history with being a school librarian. I think every state is different. There are different routes you can take, like depending on what you have a bachelor's degree in or what you teach or whatever first. But that's that was my experience was bachelor's, master's, both in English teaching and then taking that 24 hours to get a library certificate. Um, it was all online. The types of classes I had to take, I took things like, the hard one was cataloging. You had to learn to do what was called original cataloging and not like copy cataloging. And it was really hard. It was like nitpicky and just ridiculously complicated. And I've never had to use it. And I've honestly forgotten most of it <laughs> um, because you don't add your own, like these books are out there. There's records out there for these books. They send you the records from these companies when you order the books. But I also took classes like um, children's literature. That one was fun because uh, it is for grades K through 12. So you're prepped to do any sort of library, you know, elementary, middle, high school. Um, so I did take like, you know, children's literature as well. Um, young adult literature. That one, of course, was super fun. Honestly, don't remember too many of the other classes. There was definitely one about technology, technology in the library, things like that. But of course, that's always changing. Um, I still have all my old textbooks. I'm going to have to get those out. They're here at school in a drawer and see what I can uh, maybe I'll show you guys one day and talk to you more about the types of classes that I had to take. If, if you'd be interested in that, just let me know. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was a little bit helpful that you can at least see what my experience was. And now here I am finally in my dream job just many years later. I think this is my 11th year of teaching. Yeah, so um, I've got, uh, you got to get 27 years in Kentucky and then you can retire. So hey, I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you again later. Bye.